good morning, good morning. Today is the 14th of December. And if you've been following me, you know that I've had the worst experience buying a house ever. I'm not even sure why I'm having this experience, but I'm going to just take it as a, somebody needed to hear this story. So I'm going to do a vlog because today is the 14th of December. I am at the beach house still. Today is my last day at the beach house. I'm actually going back to Maryland on tomorrow. So um, I started packing up some stuff last night because it's cold in Maryland. And right now where I am, it's not really that cold. So you don't need like winter coats and stuff out here. But you need that stuff back in Maryland. So it's trying to figure out what to pack to take back with me. And I'm also going to see if my girlfriend has um, a bigger suitcase so I can take some more of my winter clothes. Like I've grabbed all my jeans that I bought out here. Um, I'm really not trying to go through them bags, but I need to take some more shoes home with me because like it's holidays. So people are having holiday parties like the New Year's is coming up. So I want to be able to have some shoes without having to keep buying stuff because eventually I am going to have to come back down here. Yesterday was emotional for me because I talked to one. I talked to my attorney and he gave me my options on what I have to, or what I can do. As far as um, purchasing this house, not purchasing this house, and um, I've decided to keep the house, um, but there's a few steps that I'm going to have to do in order for me to keep the house. And even after I go to closing on the home, um, I'm still going to decide if I'm actually going to like live in the house. Like That's a whole other story, but right now... Um, my focus is, yes, get the home and not overthink problems that may not arise. Like my mom gave me a good scenario yesterday and I just had to apply it to this situation that I have here. So today I'm going to do a whole vlog so that you all will see me like getting ready to go back to Maryland. And then I'm going to end the vlog tomorrow when I'm actually getting on the train. In fact, that'll be a whole nother vlog. So I'm gonna end the vlog today. Um, when I go to sleep. So here's a day in the life of K. Charles Couture. And it, again, y'all, I have no, I'm not someone like, I really thought right now, like I'm on day 14, I mean, December 14th. I really thought today would be one of those days when I'm just like sewing in my studio like, it probably wouldn't have been set up just right, you know, like I really, really wanted it. But today would have been that day either I would be putting my cutting table together or I would be um, sewing on the floor in my house. But I'm not at my house. I'm still at the beach house. So, day 14, up and down here. So, actually, it's been two weeks since I've been here because I came down on the 30th. And today's the 14th, so I've been here for two weeks. No keys, no house, and still no date of when my house is going to be done. So I'm going to jump up. So this is, you know, people always say, you know, I woke up like this. Hey, I woke up like this. I woke up like this. So this is how I look, y'all, when I wake up. Ain't no filters going on. Like, I'm not doing no filters or none of that. This is the way I look when I get up in the morning. So let me get up. I'm going to go brush my teeth. I hadn't really decided if I was going to take y'all to brush my, to go brush my teeth. So I'll meet y'all in the bathroom because again, I want this to be PG rated. I don't want no, um, blurbs, no accidental boob slips and no things like that. So I'll meet y'all in the bathroom. See you soon. So I told y'all I'm back in the bathroom. I got the shower going so we get nice and hot. Y'all, that shower is back. Um, beach house is really nice. I don't know if I showed y'all the beach house, but that's the shower, y'all. That's the type of shower I want in my bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to go in my bathroom and feel like, ooh, I'm at the beach house, so I'm at the spa. All right, y'all, I'm back. I'm clean. Let me tell y'all something. This is a shameless plug, but I listen, I love this. Olay 
ribbons of moisture y'all this is the best ever like when i found this some many many years ago ole y'all did the thing with this one right here now i don't always wash my hoo-ha with it because you know i think this might throw your little ph balance off i don't do that but i do wash the i use the for my hoo-ha but that right there y'all i'm gonna tell y'all i love it so that is and then this one like i, I use this for my face so to feel for my face but y'all but i may have not post that video but that's what i use for my face and then y'all yeah, know i like okay got to use me some dove deodorant Invisible because I don't want it all over my clothes and stuff like that. But yeah, that's um. And I'm gonna get y'all another ritual, y'all. Ladies, this is for y'all. When y'all are getting dressed and getting ready for the day, listen. Grab you, get you some good music on. I can't put it on because you know YouTube is gonna hit me with the copyright infringement and all that. So I'm not gonna do that. But I'm gonna tell you, get you some good music. That's why I'm gonna get off of this um video in a minute. Because I'm going to get my Alexa and she's waiting to get the music on. So, um, I'm going to get my music on. I'm going to get my little face on. And I'm not doing a whole bunch today. But I got to be out in the streets, y'all. We're going to ride past the house today. Because, like I said, I'm getting ready to go back to Maryland. So, I'm going to go past the house and see if they've done anything or what they've been doing in there. Maybe take some more pictures and stuff. You know, I like to document things and, you know, have, like, order. So, that's going to be me for today. Um, I'll hit y'all back when I am dressed and I'm going to put the rest of the stuff in the car. Because let me tell y'all, when I first rode down here, I couldn't even see out my back window. But I compressed some of that stuff I went through and then I punched all that air out the bags and pressed it down. So now I can actually see my back window. But I'm not driving my car back to Maryland because y'all know my car broke down when I got here. So I don't want to keep going back and forth with it. So I'm taking the train home. Um for the holidays and stuff like that. So y'all gonna see that now I got a little bit more space and I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff in here that I got in here that I was just living on for while I was here in the car. So I'll be back for that part. But y'all have a good morning. Get your day, get up, get your day started and all that good stuff. Because I am, y'all, it is time to get back on the grind. No more excuses, no more sad faces, no more none of that. Like it is, I've been on vacation from someone for about 10 months like that's too long for me i need to be someone i need to be creating i need to be making something like you don't understand how much money i'm missing right now with the holiday season and i'm not creating anything i'm not creating any custom pieces for anyone so this is hard for me so it's time to get back and get on the grind so i will see y'all in a few minutes hey y'all so first thing is i gotta pack up my stuff that I'm taking back to Maryland, which is gonna be like my travel bag. I'm taking that, of course, back with me. Like my big products, like the, like these things, like this and stuff. I'm putting in the um, a tote I have downstairs that's gonna stay here because I don't need to take that stuff back to Maryland with me because I have that stuff in Maryland already. But like my really like my totes, tote stuff. I'm taking this with me. So I'm packing this up. Y'all, it is hard to figure out what you need and what should stay and what should go. Like, I'm like, okay, my shower cap. I don't really need to take my shower cap back to Maryland because I have a shower cap in Maryland. Then I have, you know, of course you got to take all your jewelry and stuff with you. So you got to take that. And then it's just a matter of trying to make sure you don't miss anything. Like... Gotta take all my makeup and stuff like that because, again, like I said, there's holiday parties and stuff there. And I do have a little bit of makeup in Maryland, but not, like, these are my essentials. So, you gotta make sure that no matter what, you're taking your essentials with you. So, I'm packing this up. Now, the good thing, this was the only thing that I had in the bathroom to pack up because I had been doing such an excellent job packing everything else up previously. I didn't need to do much else. And like I said, my shower cap, I think I'm going to just go ahead and leave that. So I'm going to flip the camera. So the only thing I have to take now is this stuff is actually going down in the tote. That's going to stay here. I'm not taking that back to Maryland. This is going with me, of course, because these are my everyday essentials. I'm going to leave this here because I don't need neither one of those. I don't 
like excuse the towels and stuff on the floor y'all yeah, but that's what they told us to do it was like just drop the towels somewhere or something so that's what i'm doing because the maid will be in here to um do all the other stuff so yeah that was the closet but i didn't need it like i said this is the only thing that i have that's going with me now you gotta have all your plugs and stuff like that now the good part is i went ahead and charged up my kindles i have two i have a small reader then i have the bigger one this one has like you can get on the internet with that one so i'm definitely going to have both of these on the train with me so I can have something to read and I have my computer but the good part about that is I have a backpack so all of this is going to go in there all that my cords is going to go in there and put my lotion back put the lotion and that lotion probably go in my bag and then I'm debating y'all if I should take my crochet stuff on the bag because I really wanted to finish this blanket before I moved into the house so I'm really debating if I'm going to take this on the train with me but I think I'm going to so this bag which is you know everybody has every woman has one of these whether it's a Louis Vuitton or whether it's a coach but you have one of them overnight sleeper bags so that bag is going with me on the train I have my suitcase already packed I'm going to have my other little bag and then my book bag so hopefully I don't feel like a bag lady too much, but we'll see. Like I said, so the rest of the stuff I got to go put in the car. So when I get downstairs, I'll let y'all see. Peace. All right, y'all. So I decided that I'm going to be doing something smart and I'm only going to start grabbing the stuff that has to go and stay in the car. Like I feel like I'm making too many trips. I haven't left anything in here. You know, you got to make sure you do a walkthrough, y'all. Don't leave nothing at the place because the people not going to come back and say, oh, we found this. Is this yours? They ain't doing none of that. So right now, only thing I have to take down to the car, and I'm taking my toilet paper because I bought it. They had some toilet paper in here, so, but I bought my own toilet paper. And I'm taking it to my girlfriend's house and let her have it. So only thing I take down to the car is my basket. That has to go to the car. So we are on our way down to the car. I'm going to put all this stuff in the car. And then when I come back up here, I only have to put everything in the book bags and stuff. Yes, it's going in the car, but it doesn't. I need it to go in the car so I know it's going to take out. The stuff I'm putting in the car now is the stuff that's actually going to stay in the car. Like, it's not coming back out of the car until I come back down here when the house is done. So, y'all see. Let me tell y'all, I'm going from flip-flops to them. That's what they wearing back in Maryland right now. This is what I got on right now. But it ain't going to last long because it's cold up in the DMV. And because it's cold in the DMV, and you know you girl, I like to be cute. I don't like to be cold. There is a such way as there is a such thing as you know, Y'all know how when y'all hear something, you don't really know what it is. But anywho, so there is a way of being cute cold. That's what I'm gonna have to do. When I get back up there, y'all see I'm opening up the shades, because the shades are open when I got here. So I'm opening them back up. Let me go put this stuff in the car. Then I could do a little rearranging real quick. Then once I do some rearranging, and I'm taking y'all with me because I'm black. That's what black people be doing. We take our phones with us. So if some shit jump over, I got video proof of what the hell was going on in here. And y'all might be able to see, you know. Like I said, video proof of what's going on. And maybe this video will pop up somewhere. And you could be like, uh-uh. Because that man had on this. Or this or something like that. Some shit like that. You know. You know how black people we be thinking about what's going to happen. If something was to happen to us. So that's something. So I'm down here in the garage, y'all. Not bike riding the day and none of that. How's she packing? So here's my... Gracie it is still full to the rim. But guess what, y'all? She is full, but guess what? I can see out my back window. I cannot see none of that stuff before. Like, 
This how I've been living, y'all. Like, y'all, I'm telling y'all. When I tell y'all, the car is packed to the brim. The car is packed to the brim. Don't be looking at my tag. Anywho, so I'm going to put this stuff in the car right now. And I'm going to hit y'all back. Because, like I see, I got to get ready to get up out of here. Plus, I got some shoes in there. I need to get some shoes out of there. This was the tote I was telling y'all about, like, if y'all packing up and moving, actually, this a friend of mine gave me these when I was packing up as a um, congratulations gift. Like these things are the best. Like they're flexible, but you can put a lot of stuff in there. Um, let's talk about this for me. But I am gonna put. Remember, I told y'all I had all my big stuff that could go in here, like the big body wash and that type of stuff. All that's going in here. This Alexa is going in here because I got another one in Maryland, so I don't need her. And then this is going in here because I already have all this stuff. So, this is how the car is looking, y'all. She's looking cute, though, right? So, Gracie is going to be like this for probably about two or three weeks. Like, yeah. The struggle is real. So, let me get this basket in here because... I remember how I was going to put it in it, but now I can't remember. But there is a way for me to get it in here, so I'll be back. I got that creative packing, y'all, and I still can see out my book window. So even if this was, like, my last trip here and I had to go back to Maryland. Uh oh wait a minute. I just go too soon. Even if I did have to go back to Maryland, I would be able to see. Sorry, y'all, I just had to... Scoot that little thing over a little bit. But so, yeah. So, I still have front and the... See, I found my jacket. So, I left that out. And then, like, my machines are over there. But I still have room on the floor. Down there, y'all. You got to learn how to pack when you got stuff going on. I still have room in that tote if I need to. Y'all see, I got, like, my bedding and stuff, y'all. I was, like... I was ready to be at home. But home was not ready for me to be there yet. So, I must got some more stuff to do in Maryland. So, now that I got that done, the rest of the stuff I have to take down, um, I'm going to do that too. Go ahead and get it out the way. Because I do have, like, the little bit of food I had left over. Like, I'm about to eat my turkey sausage and my grapefruits. That's going to be my breakfast. Turkey sausage and grapefruit. Great breakfast. I need to um like this salsa trash. That's trash. Don't need that no more. I got like a half a dozen eggs. I probably can take that. And then I got like some lunch meat. I'm gonna take that on over to my girl's house. Cause the kids. In fact, you know what? I could probably take that with me on a train. Put me, give me some little crackers. Mm, boom, there's the move. And of course, I still got a couple of little bit of wine. So, I'll drink this one. Do not drink and drive, y'all. Drink responsibly. But I'm definitely going to take my wine because me and my girl will have us a toast tonight. Because this is going to be my last night here in the JNC till I get back. So, and then I have some almond milk, but I don't even think she like almond milk, so. I ain't gonna worry about that. Got some butter. I think she need no butter. And the broccoli, I know the kids gonna be like, okay, I know you ain't bringing no broccoli over here for us to eat, so. I'm gonna put El Broccolo in the trash. We not taking no broccoli with us. Um, I got my beef patty. I should have had that this morning, too. And then I got some ice cream left. So that's all I got left in here, y'all. So that's good. Like, I'm making progress. I I ran the dishwasher yesterday, but the maid can take them jumps out the dishwasher. Oh, gotta take my De Janeiro. De Janeiro. Amaretta. Amaretta sours. That's how we do. That's how me and my girl gonna do tonight. We're gonna have us some wine. And it ain't really nothing but in it, but like a really enough room for like a half a drink. But we still gonna do that anyway. Because that's what we do later. I'll give y'all a packing tip. If you have things like me, this is my Mac case. And I normally have all that stuff in there because, like, 
that's my backup drive and there's some earphones and this cord is actually another plug cord to um, get charged. When you are packing your stuff up, if that is what your normal carry-on case looks like, don't start taking stuff out. Y'all, I swear to you, as soon as you get on the train or as soon as you get wherever you got to go, you're going to start looking for that stuff that is normally there and is not going to be there. And I'm telling you right now, don't start switching up your stuff. Keep it just like it is. If you are used to having all that crap in your um, your MacBook thing or whatever you're carrying, leave it in it because you're going to need it. Trust me, I'm going to be editing this video probably while I'm on the train. So if I take out my backup Mac, I mean, if I take out the, my back thing, I ain't going to have enough room and all this stuff. Leave your stuff in it. Don't start taking stuff out, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all. It's just like changing a pocketbook. You don't want to do it. All right, y'all. So I'm officially out of the beach house. Um, this is the second room, y'all. It has like a bunk bed and another little twin size bed. And look at that view. The view is from every part of the house, it's incredible. So that's the view in here. Um, I didn't sleep in none of those beds, so didn't really. I had planned to come in here and take like a shower in every bathroom and stuff, but I didn't do it. I'm actually doing this video to just show that I left the place nice and clean. So, you know. When the maid comes, she won't have a lot of work to do. She got a little bit. Because there's some sand. She probably needs to sweep up. And whatever she doing here. So, this was my humble abode for the last two weeks. Well, I haven't been here for two weeks. I've been here since like the 7th. So, for about the last week, this has been my humble abode. And I'm just making sure I'm not leaving anything. And I'm not. Because, like when I say I'm out of here, I'm like, officially... Out of the beach house. Look at that tub, y'all. The tub was fabulous. Had a nice shower, which I showed y'all earlier. So, yeah. Your girl is all packed. And all the remote controls is where they're supposed to be at. And now, I am about to take flight. So, I'm going to show y'all the downstairs. Because I don't even think I did this whole, like, show you the whole house when I got here. But... The house is remarkable. If anybody's ever looking to rent an Airbnb, because they do rent it out as an Airbnb. This is the kitchen. Now the refrigerator, hidden. Looks like the cabinet, but it's not. It's actually the fridge. Oh, let me turn the ice off. Because they don't need no ice. I don't think so. So anyway, this is the kitchen. Again, living room area, really nice. Cable TV in here, like they had direct TV and all that good stuff. But you know, I'm here. This is what I really love. What's the view? Yeah, it's amazing. Like today is beautiful out here. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Y'all see that? I enjoy being able to be down here at this beach house again they do rent this out as an airbnb the address is 513 ocean drive in emeralds isle north carolina y'all it is amazing like everything was wonderful like i had no complaints with the house house is beautiful i just wish i was in my own house you know i appreciate being able to come out here and hang out on this beach like this is one of the reasons why i chose this area because of things like this like you could come out here on this beach. This is a this isn't private. This is a public beach. You can come out here on this beach and hang out. This is the middle of December, y'all. It's like 65 right now. Or almost 68 degrees in December. December 14th. And I'm out here with a tracksuit. And I'm actually hot. So this is the weather that I love. This is why I chose this place. Let me step back. I'm gonna show y'all the house. Again, the house was amazing. No complaints at all with the house. Wonderful deck. Like I said, my niece had her birthday here and she enjoyed it. The kids enjoyed being able to run out there on the beach and hang out. Hey, it's beautiful. All right, so it's time for me to get in my car and pack up out of here. I'll see y'all in a bit because I'm gonna go try to find somewhere to go get my nails and my toes done before I make it back to Maryland. That way I won't have to do it when I get there. Peace. 
Hey, hey, I am back in the car, y'all. I'm gonna turn my radio down because I don't want no copyright infringements. And Alicia Keys is blowing right now on this song like she's doing a damn thing. But I'm in the car, everything is packed up. Y'all can see that you can still see through the back of the window. I can see through there. Um, but yeah, it's packed to the hilt as always. I'm on my way back to Jacksonville. Like I said, the beach house was really nice, really nice. So now I'm going to go get my nails and stuff done before I head back to Maryland tomorrow. Um, grab me some lunch. Probably take me a nice nap. Because I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. A little bit, a little bit. And then plus I want to see what Jacksonville kicking on for their nails and their toes. Because, you know, a girl is regular. She do this 365 days a year. I am not just in the summertime go get my nails and stuff done. I like to keep the grooming on all, all the time thing. So I'm gonna do that. Like I said, you know, have some drinks with my girl tonight before my departure tomorrow until I come back. And I'm probably guessing it probably won't be until well after the holidays. I'm thinking they're probably gonna try to do closing like on the 30th or something like that. So I might be here for New Year's, I'm not even sure. I may even make them push it back and say, no, nah, I'm not. Because you know what? Actually, New Year's will be on a Saturday this week, this year. So, um, I may make them push it back until like that Monday. But we'll see. I don't know. Like, I ain't got no official date. I won't have no date or some what of a date of completion until later on at the end of this week. So, who knows what they're going to say. Um, and I'm really not going to rush them now. Especially because that water been in house. So, let them fix it. Like they say, they're going to fix it. And, you know. And then I'm going to go from there. So, that's where I'm at right now. Like I said, I'm going to go enjoy some peace. Hopefully, they give a good foot and leg, you know. You know how they get the slap in your leg and make it feel good when they get that foot massage. So, that's what I'm going to do. Because, like I said, it's definitely time for me to go get this done. I haven't gotten them done since um, the all-black party I went to. And that was before that after thanksgiving it was the saturday after thanksgiving so this has been it for a little bit so it's time for it to come off and plus it's crack i would have actually left this on because you can see like it's not like pulling from the um cuticles real bad but like it's all cracked up y'all like every little thing got like a little crack and a little split in it so it's time for this gel polish to come off and i'm gonna see what they do here and uh, i'm gonna keep y'all posted i'm gonna let you know whether or not i done found me a new spot where i'll be at every three weeks or if i'm a doctor drive back to maryland and get my nails and stuff done and then come back here so hopefully it won't be a disaster because i really don't want to have to tell somebody in the middle of doing my nails to stop but y'all know i will do that i don't have a problem telling them hold up that ain't it that's that's not that's not the move so um y'all know i'm gonna flash some videos and stuff when i'm getting my nails and stuff done so sister be back Okay, I am back in the car, y'all. I'm gonna give y'all, hey, this is my first review. VIP Nail and Spa, right here on Old Country Road. Not Old Country Road, Country Club Road. Got your girl right, look at, y'all, they got your girl right. And my toes is, girl, they got your girl right. They got a new client. I told her, you got a new client in me, baby. You will see me again. All right, so now I'm ready to go past the, um, the house, see if it's any updates or what they've been doing over there. Because I'm sure nobody has been going over to check. Nobody cares. About Look at them nails. Look at those nails. Oh, I'm all up in it. What? Yeah, up right there. All up in it. Yeah. See that? Pop. Pow. All right, 
seriously, I'm gonna go past Black Pearl Circle and see what's been going on, if anything. And um, I'll be back when I get there. Okay, so let me give y'all a quick update. I am at the house. Y'all know my nails is gonna be all in it because uh, they did the thing. Let me clean off this screen. I suspect the spam. We don't do suspect the spam. Okay, let me clean off the screen because my nails need to be, I need to show you. But anywho, so I get to the house. There's a keypad on here, um, a lock. And so I call my realtor to get the code so I can go inside because I can see that they have not pulled up all the floor from downstairs. And my report says that the floor is definitely wet. They haven't pulled it up. And now she says, I can only go in the house if she's with me. So you know what I told her. We'll bring your ass because I'm here. And um, so I'm going to go inside, take a couple pictures as soon as she pulls up. And um, I will keep y'all posted because it gets better. This is getting better and better all the time. Look at them nails. Ah, look at them nails. Yeah. All right. So I'll be back in a minute.